So today I'm on the Ovens River just by Myrtleford. I'm with uh, with Dave Chitty, who owns one of the local adventure companies, uh, and with Rick. And yeah, today we're going pack rafting. What do you reckon, Dave? I reckon we'll head down the river, mate. Sweet. Sounds good. Since my last adventure, gravel riding back in March, I've been on an even bigger adventure down in Tassie. Some friends and I set out with the aim of circumnavigating the Apple Isle and sea kayaks. Unfortunately, we didn't pull it off and spent most of our days paddling the east coast. The views from the ocean were breathtaking and even though we didn't complete our mission, I still had an epic time and learnt heaps. So I guess it's only fitting for my first adventure back, I'm in a kayak again. Only this one's quite a bit smaller, inflatable, and it's called a pack raft. I've never actually been in one and I've, I've wanted to for a while. I love the idea of, of being able to uh, deflate them and carry them in your backpack and carry them around. And I've got a couple of mates who get around and paddle rivers, hike hills, and ride bikes and put them inside their pack raft too. So yeah, I'd love to do some more adventures with these. So where are we now, Dave? Just coming up to the confluence of the Buffalo River from Lake Buffalo and the Ovens. From here you get more water in the river. You get things like bigger pools, Murray Cod. It's a fisherman's paradise all the way to the Murray. Dave Chitty is a local legend around here. He's been guiding people in all sorts of adventures for more than 50 years now. And his passion for the environment is an inspiration. We've got to look after the environment so that we've got an environment to go and adventure in, yeah? I think a lot of big companies are realising that there is money in uh, looking after the environment. And his life mission seems to be getting everyone into the outdoors to experience what he truly loves doing. If you don't have a healthy lifestyle, you can't just sit in an office with air conditioning all the time. You've got to be out here. And it doesn't have to be hard. I mean, we're not doing anything particularly hard today, and yet we'll have a great time, yeah? Uh, so there's something for everybody, whether you're young, old, you know, infirm, perhaps got a, you know, a disability of some description, it doesn't matter. There's always a way to get in the outdoors. That's such a good message. Dave, um, yeah, Dave isn't exactly a spring chicken, but he's out there more than anyone that I know. <laughs> This pack grass is actually quite comfy. It feels almost like I'm in a lilo or like a little floating hammock for backrest. Yeah, this is a nice way to spend the day. So Dave was just saying that there's a uh, there's a little rapid coming up that customers find quite exciting usually. Yeah, it's not that big, it's only grade two, but it's a little bit of a waterfall, so and they don't expect it. So when they get to the top and look down, they normally go, eee! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they have fun. These pack rafts are built for multi-sport adventures and I was totally surprised with how well they handled and how much fun they were to paddle. It was an easy decision to run this little rapid twice. Man, this has been super fun. <laughs> and also get out with Dave as well. Yeah, it kind of goes to show that age is just a number. Dave's out here. And yeah, he does more outdoor stuff than I do. We're almost near the end and uh, Dave's kind of yelled out some instructions. But it's been really hard to hear him and they've kind of been like left, left, right, left, right. Just got to navigate our way through all these, uh, through the rocks and, and logs. Oh, I can see where he's going. Woo! It's good to get out with Dave and Rick and um, these pack rafts are definitely <laughs> very different to the um, to the sea kayak and they've, yeah, it's got me inspired to do more trips. See you guys next week.